The title of today's class is, We've Been Lifting Weights for Over 100 Years. So when we talk about we've been lifting weights for over 100 years, I've been lifting for 56 years, and I'm going to introduce Phil DeGault in a moment, Phil Old School DeGault, who has many titles uh, in a, a natural bodybuilding world, and he's been lifting for 46 years, so it's 101 years between us. And the key about any kind of exercise program is consistency and staying with it. And that's pretty much what's lacking with most people. You see people become extremely fit, whether it's a man working out or a woman. They get into an exercise program, and most of the exercise programs are good. It's going to, be, it's going to benefit you. You're active. You're, 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 contra you're building up muscle. As you build up muscle, it burns up fat. As you're contracting muscles, the lymphatic system is moving. It's healthy. It's just a very healthy thing to be doing. But you'll see people come and go all the time. And people like Phil and myself who have been lifting weights for over 100 years between us, we've seen a lot of people come and go, people who made great progress. Then you don't see them a few years. You say, what happened? You know, the guy's looking kind of fat or the woman's looking kind of heavy. You say, well, I got married, I had a job, I have kids, you know, whatever. That's a common fate. So we don't want to see that happen to you. We want to give you the knowledge and information for that not to happen to you. And then and also as part of today's class, Phil, who has incredible delts, rear delt, side delts, front delts, incredible shoulders, some of the best in, in the natural bodybuilding world. He's gonna talk about how, how to build them up, what he's done. Done an incredible job on that. So the key of staying with, from my point of view, and Phil will share from his, is a, a, for many of us, it began with insecurity. You know, we, 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 we felt vulnerable in the world. We wanted to maybe attract females, make guys have more respect for us. Or many people might have been pushed around or bullied. Say, well, I'm not, I'm, I want to really build myself up so I can take care of myself, so I can attract females, so men will have more respect for me. Then after you build yourself up to a certain point, you like what you see, you feel inspired, then something else kicks in. You don't want to lose what you have. So then you do it not just to keep building yourself up. You don't want to lose all the benefits you've, you've developed and all the hard work. So then you, that becomes another motivating force. Then all the health benefits. And then competition. I went into competing for the last 10 years. I'm a world champion powerlifter and a bodybuilder. Competition made me even work out more intensely. Because I know I'd be on stage posing. Or I know I'd be doing a bench press or T-bar strongman pull or power pull up, I'd be, I know others are going to be watching me, I would train harder. So without going into any further ado, I want to introduce Phil Legault. Now Phil is Mr. Universe Street Physique, he's taking many titles, natural bodybuilding titles in many federations. And is extremely knowledgeable about supplements, extremely knowledgeable about all aspects of working out. Without further ado, I want to introduce Phil, old school, the Galt, Mr. Universe. All right, thank you, Arnie. It's good to be here on uh, representing the World Legion of Power once again today. Um, Arnie hit the nail on the head with his opening statement. The key to success in, uh, in weightlifting is consistency. Workout after workout after workout you know, week after week, month after month, year after year. Um, and that's what you don't see. So it has to be in a lot of people. You have to get it ingrained in your consciousness as part of your uh, psyche and part of your being, if you will, uh, that you enjoy working out and then just stay with it. Uh, I began working out um, uh, when I was about 19 years old when I was a college student. Uh, and I would go up to the, they had opened up a brand new uh, weight room in the, in, at the college I was attending, Cal State Fullerton. And, um, you know, I would go up there in the afternoons after classes. And uh, like most young guys, we were, uh, we would see how much we could bench press or we would, you know, do the curls. We, everything was about doing the, the showy muscles at the time, um, you know, chest and arms pretty much. Uh, and then what happened is uh, they had a, a, a weightlifting uh, contest as uh, part of the uh, college uh, recreation program. And so they had, um, I guess we would call it an odd lift contest, uh, you know, where 
I think we had three or four different weight groups, but you had to do the bench press, which was a popular lift, and also a curl, a strict curl against with your shoulders against the wall. And, uh, you know, I won that uh, uh, two years in a row at Cal State Fullerton, uh, and that kind of motivated me to train even harder. You know, it was my first success getting this little uh, weightlifting trophy uh, from the college uh, for winning my my uh, bench press and curl contest. Um, 